Today I'm doing a complete tour of my toddler's new bedroom. We were so excited to change his nursery into a big boy room and he is absolutely loving it. We weren't in a huge rush to complete the room, so we kind of did it section by section, wall by wall. And first we started with the peel and stick wallpaper. And that honestly was the hardest part. It definitely takes two people, but now that it's up, I absolutely love it. I definitely would do it again. It's also sometimes hard to get things done when you have two little helpers around getting into everything. So let's get into the room tour. Please make sure to give this a like, make sure to hit the subscribe button and everything I mentioned will be linked in the description box down below. So make sure to go check that out. So the room is pretty much completed now. I still have a little bit more to do, but that can wait. We so first we have the peel and stick wallpaper that is by Rocky Mountain Wall Decals. So it just peels on and it's very easy to remove as well if we ever wanna change it up. I wanted to go with dinosaurs, but not ones that are too scary because they can be scary. And I wanted it to be colorful, but not like those super bright neon colors. So that is done. This wall color here, this is my color for the whole upstairs of my house. And I need to find out what this color is because it was here when we moved in. I get a lot of compliments on it, this green. And I usually never would pick it for myself because it's like a minty green, but it actually looks really nice in my entire upstairs. The rug is just a thin rug by Home Base Rug. So I've done a few videos on this that's spill proof. So I've actually poured liquids on this, which I'll show you in the side of the video here. It actually beads up and I've left it for like 15 minutes and it does not soak through. You'll be able to hear my kids here. So it wipes right up. It's an amazing rug. This is just a toddler bed from Amazon. Just a random one we got that looks like it had really great reviews and it has been awesome so far. So if you're looking for a toddler size bed, Definitely, definitely recommend this one. My bedding here is all from H&M Home. I love H&M Home. So it's a duvet. <laughs> Kids are having fun. We got this wild and free pillow. And then this one came from Marshalls. And we got some Ikea dinosaurs and another blanket from H&M. I'm obsessed with these name signs. I have one in this room as well as my other son's room in a different font. And I just hang everything with a Velcro strip, the command strip. That's pretty much what everything is hung up with in my house is command picture hanging strips. This side table is from Ikea and I was super excited about it because you can put the legs on different ways. So you can put it on this way, you can put it on so it's turned horizontal, or you can make this opening at the top to like slide books in. So I just have it like this for now until I figure out what I'm gonna do with it. These wooden dinosaurs are by Bajo, B-A-J-O. I get these from nest.ca. This is the Nest sound machine. We have it in both my kids' rooms. I've tried a cheaper sound machine and I'm gonna tell you, this is literally the best one you can get. So just do it, just grab it because it can be controlled by your phone. The light can change, the sound can change and it's really good. You can use it by touch. This flag banner is from H&M Home. They always have different ones on there that are just a great price. Now these baskets here, everyone asks about these. These are from Michaels. They actually had handles on them that I removed and then we nailed these to the wall. Now these exact ones are not available anymore and I've been scouring the internet for different options for you guys. So I'll make sure to link those down below just to give you some options if you want to try this hack because this has been working really well. I think it looks amazing. I get so many compliments on this. This dino head here is from H&M Home, and I also have another one right over here. They're really cute. This canopy here is from Amazon. They're really expensive when you look around, so I needed to find something that was a little bit cheaper, and I did find it, and it's perfect, and my kids love it. Now, this pillow here is one of those long rectangular pillows that I have propped up. Sometimes we put it on the side of the bed if we're worried he's gonna fall out, but he doesn't do that anymore. These are the best price at H&M Home. So if you're looking for these, you can stack like three on top of each other to do a little reading nook. Then you definitely need to get one from H&M Home. It's the best. This pillow here is from Marshalls. This one's from Indigo, which is a Canadian company. So if you're Canadian, you know what I'm talking about. All right, so this wall here, this is a kid's bookshelf and toy storage from Ikea. 
So lots of book storage in here and then this little area to display special books that you want to have on display. You can put bins here for toys. I just have a little display here and then it also has a drawer. Usually I have blankets and stuff in there just for storage, but you can use that for toys as well. I just showed this hack on my TikTok and Instagram. So this is a memo board from Ikea. They're really cheap and they're magnetic, or you can use a whiteboard marker on them. And they're just for like appointments and stuff, but we use it for magnets. So I have it hung up with a command picture hanging strip and you can buy more than one if you wanted and you could make a huge magnetic wall. I don't have a spot for that right now, but definitely in the future, that's exactly what I'm gonna do. These are actually by Clickso. These are meant to make like lots of different shapes and you can make animals, you can make airplanes. But a lot of times we just like sticking them on things. I'm sure you've seen these banners around. This is by the Yamani Collective. Everything will be linked. And this photo here, this is a printable from Etsy. So I love this uh, shop for all these dinosaur prints. They have so many of them in different colors. I got the green with like a little bit of metallic purple. If you're looking for a dinosaur room, you need to check out Dino Raw, especially on Instagram. They have everything that you're going to need. So I got this little flag and I got this one here with the beautiful rainbow, which is like right up my alley, as you guys know. These hangers here, these are from a Canadian company called Indigo. It came with a pack of five, I think. I just put up three just for hanging different things. You guys know I change things around all the time. And then this here is from Etsy. Usually you do like your kid's name, but I did Roar since it's a dinosaur room. You can spell out anything you want. So here's the closet. It was a complete mess before and we used the closet made system. So I use the system here and then you can buy the add-on drawers if you want drawers and I just placed them where I wanted them. And then we did put wall decals on the walls. Wall decals are so inexpensive, but they make a huge difference. I'm not sure if you guys have ever thought of putting them in a closet, but I think it looks super cute. It makes me want to keep my closet doors open all the time, which is really funny. I have these little rope baskets all over my house. Super great for toys since they're low baskets. I also have these all over my house, the crates that I did in the blue and the green. And I have the large crates here down below for like blanket storage and things. Real life, which is lots of laundry to do. And we're definitely loving this system. I'm obsessed with these blackout curtains with the suction cups. They're the best things I've ever purchased. I have one in both of my kids' rooms and I've tried other options because there's a lot of new ones coming out now that claim that they're better. And I've had products sent to me and I've never posted about them because you can't beat these. Now, a lot of times people say that sometimes they don't stick to your window. Your window has to be clean. So if you're always removing them all the time and you see like a ring of where the suction cup was and you keep trying to stick it to the same spot, they're not gonna stick. So make sure you kind of wipe that area. So I'm gonna show you what it looks like with the curtains closed and like the darkness in here. So you can see that. So you can see still lots of light coming in here. In the summertime, it's super bright at bedtime. So this is gonna be perfect and helping them sleep in in the morning. So let's see what it looks like once it's on. All right, so it's up. I It's up, I put it up sideways with this window. And then there's Velcro where you can kind of make it smaller. So I'm gonna turn out the light. Big difference with the door shut especially. And I'm gonna close the curtains. Okay, so I have the door open so you can see a little bit. I have a little bit light at the bottom. Now I'm gonna close the door. Look how dark that is. I love these so much. Perfect gift for any new parent as well. I've still got one more wall to complete, you guys. I'm not quite sure what I'm doing yet, but I am good for now. I am loving this whole area. My kids love it. They love spending time in here. So let me know below if you have any questions. I'd be happy to answer.